17 years when I was 17 years old I really want to be a missionary I really want to be uh, to share my knowledge and to share God to other people and I really want to go to the place that call that calls EB so when I was 17 years old I prayed to God that Please give me a ticket to go to EB because I really want to be a missionary. I really want to share your, uh, your message to the other people. So that I told to God, uh, could you please give me a ticket going to EB? Because I don't have money, Lord. I'm just 17 years old. I'm still studying. And God gave me ticket going to EB. But... Uh, something happened that night that my uncle died. So I couldn't go to EB that year. And my ticket was a loss that time. I don't have any more ticket, by, but still, after two, two years, I still want to be a missionary. I prayed to God. I told him, okay, Lord, I'm going to save my own money because I because uh, my ticket, uh, my ticket, I couldn't uh, use that anymore. I will use my own money. I will save it for the mission. And I saved money going to EB. But that night, something happened again. My sister was injured, and I need to. I need to give my savings to my sister's hospital fees. So again, I couldn't go to EB. And I forget that. I, I said, okay, Lord, if you don't want me to be a missionary in EB, I will not go there. Okay, I, for, I forget it. 
And uh, I have a good job after three years. I got a good job. I have money now. And I forget what I've, I've told to, to God when I was 17. So one night when I was lying on my bed, I, uh, I heard a voice and says, Ibi, Ibi, Ibi. And I said, ah, is that Lord? Is that God? Ah, but I forget. I, I don't want to go there anymore. I said, I have my money. I have a good job. Why should I leave my job? Why should I leave my life right now? And still the voice says, Evie, Evie, Evie. Okay. And then I, I told him, I told God that, Okay, Lord, if you want me to go to EB, give me US, U.S. visa. Because if you really want me to. And I went to the embassy. And I'm, I prayed, I hope I cannot get the visa. Because I have a good life right now. I don't want a visa anymore, please, Lord. But when the immigration, uh, the staff told me, uh, asked me, why do you want to go to Hawaii? And I said, because I want to be a missionary. And the staff didn't ask me for more documents. The staff didn't ask me for, for follow-up questions about uh, my intention in that place. And the staff said, you want to be a missionary? Okay, I will give you a U.S. visa. So I said, okay, maybe God really wants me to go to EB. And I said, okay, I will buy a ticket going to Hawaii, and I have U.S. visa now. After a year on EB, I have no regrets. When I started teaching the fifth grade, only one child in the classroom was from an Adventist family. Through, the, through assistance of a friend in Hawaii, I, get, I gave Bibles to all my students for Christmas. Five of my students were baptized during the school year. Some people ask me, why, don't you why did you come here? You have good life in your country. And I said, because I want to be a missionary. Because I want to share God's gospel. What amazes me is the that I tried to come to EB for four years, but only arrived in 2016. I think it is because God had a plan. I don't know what the plan is, but I know he has one and he will reveal it at the perfect time. Ryan, a principal of EB Seventh-day Adventist School, has no doubt why nearly arrived when she did. With 25% of her students baptized, her classroom had more baptism than any other last school year. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help the school carry out major repairs on crumbling classrooms. Thank you for your mission offerings. Change what's ever wrong and made it right. Made 
Yeah.